Hello and welcome to the class. I am Dr. Raghavendra S. Hegde, presently working as a lecturer in HSK College of Pharmacy, Bagalkot, Department of Clinical Pharmacy. Today, let us understand the hospital and its organization. The learning objectives would be upon completion of this lecture session, you should become thorough and you should be able to define and describe about what is hospital, objectives of the hospital, classification of hospital into primary, secondary and tertiary care hospitals, classification based on clinical and non-clinical basis, functions of the hospital, organization, structure of the hospital, lastly the medical staff involved in the hospital for providing the patient care. Let us begin by introduction. The hospital is an integral part of social and medical organization, the function of which is to provide for the population complete health care, both curative and preventive and whose outpatient services reach out to the family and its home environment. The hospital is also center for the training of healthcare workers and for social research. This definition has been given by WHO. Hospitals are the institution providing medical and surgical treatment and nursing care for any ill or injured people. The word hospital originated from Latin word which means hospice meaning of which is guest. The medieval Latin word hospital means the place for reception of guest, which have mainly six types of institutional meanings, one of which is an institution that care for sick, injured and wounded. We can see the diagrammatic representation on the right hand side where the hospitals were existed even before 4th century BC, which I say this is the first hospital where the treating physician is the Charaka, where in Ayurveda the Charaka Samhita is very famous. There are Samhitas in Ayurveda where which has been written by the Charaka, I say that is the beginning of the hospital where evolution of the mankind has begun in India. Now, 5th century BC, the ancient Sinhalese are responsible for introducing the concept of hospitals to the world. In early period during Greek and Roman civilizations, temples were used as hospitals. With birth of Christianity, churches were also used as hospitals. In the right hand side, we can see the church at Les Invalides in Paris showing the typically close connection between the hospitals and the Catholic Church. In ancient cultures, religion and medicine were linked. The earliest documented institutions aiming to provide cures were Egyptian temples. In ancient Greece, temples dedicated to the healer god Asclepius, known as Asclepius, functioned as the centers of medical advice prognosis and healing. We can see here on the right hand side, this is a view of Asclepian of course. Now we can see here the earliest noted hospital was here. That is the according to the Mahavamsha written in the 4th century BC, the king Pandukabhya had lying in homes and hospitals, that is Shivikas Sotti Shala, built in various parts of the country, which is now it is in the Sri Lanka. Now we can see the emergence of hospitals were there starting from long ago, even before 4th century BC. We can see the evolution of hospital which began after this one, after 4th century, which is the first place I should say, and now the Hotel Dieu Paris, which 
the hospital was existing that is 542 AD in Romini. Saint Bartholomew's Hospital in London in 1123 AD. Spanish Hospital in Mexico City in 1524 AD. First General Hospital in North America that is Pennsylvania Hospital in 1715 AD. Massachusetts Hospital in 1811 AD. So this is the evolution of the hospital, how the hospital started. But the data says only this hospital, the hospital has emerged from this 542 AD. But when I have made the research, the data uh, that the existing was, the hospitals were existing even before 4th century AD in India and in Sri Lanka. Now, the objectives of the hospital were to provide optimum healthcare services, provide care, cure, and preventive service, protect the human rights of the clients, provide training for professionals, provide in service or continuing education in all discipline of all professionals. Now, let us understand the classification of hospitals into different categories. The hospitals are classified as per the owner, ownership. Under ownership, it may be classified as public hospital and this public hospital will be owned by government or autonomous body. And under ownership, hospital is classified into private hospital, which is run by the private body or an entrepreneur. And under private, uh, entrepreneur, private or entrepreneur, it is further classified as commercial and non-profit organizations. Again, different types of classification which include medicine classification, where hospital is classified based on the type of the medicine. If allop allopathic medicine is followed over there, that may be classified where allopathic treatment and the disease and diagnosis is done by the allopathic style, the western medication western type of medication is said to be allopathic medicine and hospital is also classified as per the different systems alternative system of medicine that is Ayush Ayurvedic hospitals where Ayurveda and other system of hospital other uh, hospitals may be yoga and naturopathy Yunani Siddha homeopathy in Ayurvedic hospitals Ayurvedic medicines are used for the recovery of patient suffering from any diseases. So the Ayurvedic doctor treats the conditions. In the similar pattern, all these things were treated by different different system of medicines, whether it may be yoga, Yunani, Siddha or homeopathy. Hospitals can also be classified based on the types of services, what they are rendering to the hospital, to the patient care. That may be the teaching come research hospital. The classical example would be All Indian Institute of Medical Science, which is in Delhi. Other hospital may be the general hospital to provide medical care, which includes district hospitals, taluka hospitals, and the primary health care centers. Special hospitals. Special hospitals, the main concentrate on particular care or particular aspect or, or organ of the body and provide medical care to the particular organ, whether it, it may include the cancer hospital where cancer and other uh, dangerous consequences and treatment is given for those conditions, TB hospital for TB care, psychiatric hospital for treating mental and other conditions and dental hospitals. Hospitals can also be classified based on the type of medical staff involvement. That is close staff involvement. The name itself is self-explanatory where the physicians are held responsible for all medical activities in the hospital, including the diagnosis and the treatment of patient, fee paying and emergency. Again, hospitals may be classified based on the type of the medical staff that is open staff hospital where this type of hospitals which allows other doctors, other physicians in the community to admit and treat patients to the hospitals and treat them. 
and hospitals can also be classified into number of beds based on the teaching hospitals according to the bed size number of beds teaching hospital which involves the teaching uh, hospital may have 500 beds district hospitals may have 200 beds taluka hospitals may have 50 beds and primary health care centers may have six beds so these classification is done on number of beds hospitals can also be classified according to duration of stay how much days they stay in the hospital based on short term short term hospitals or i can say the short stay hospitals these are the hospitals where more than 90 percent of all patients admitted and they stay less than 30 days the classical example would be the eye hospital long-term hospital long stay hospitals these are the hospitals where more than 90 percent of all patients admitted stay more than 30 days which includes the mental hospitals let us know now move further and understand the functions of the hospitals the functions of the hospital the main primary care the primary function of the hospital is to give the patient care the curative function any type of care given to the patients by healthcare team where any healthcare team which may be involved whether he may be a physician pharmacist nurse physical therapist dietitians it all includes health principles by giving care to the patient it also includes health teaching to the patients by health promotion second would be health education the secondary function it refers to the education of professionals and technical personnel who provide health services again who may include the physicians pharmacists nurses dentists therapists technicians etc the functions of hospitals is to give the health promotion which is the secondary function where the preventive functioning emerging function for the hospital is that of hospital health center taking an active role to improve the health of the population it serves hospitals has majorly uh, they play like a community health centers and they can sponsor programs of environmental and occupational health and home care services etc last would be the hospital is an institution or an organization which conduct research activity where research is focused mainly on the improvement of the health or the prevention of the diseases these are the four major areas of focused areas where the hospital is functioning in the manner so patient care health education providing health education health promotion and health research earlier there was when a disease or when a uh, any type of ailment there was there was just the curative uh, type of modality later on the uh, the thing has changed from curative modality we have went to the preventative modality, modality the preventive care what we tell uh, what we can give to the patient prevention is always better than the cure later on the principles from curative modality and from preventative modality later on a new concept has been emerged that is promoting health by health promotion you understand the disease in the earlier onset by conducting screenings and you prevent the further progression of disease now let us understand the hospital and its organization how it is classified and what is the role of the hospital organization which all the uh, different uh, bodies how they work over there firstly on the top ladder we can see the governing body or the board of trustees a hospital is a multifaceted organization comprising many committees departments types of personnel and they provide various kinds of services it requires highly trained employees efficient systems and controls necessary supplies adequate equipment and facilities and of course the physicians and the patient it is a business as well as caring people oriented institution 
and it is a, it has a similar structure and hierarchy of authority as any larger business does have we can see now the committees various committees which are under the governing body or the board of trustees under committee we can see there are many bodies where they are functioning we can see the executive committees which are directly under the committee and this committee uh, where they have to report to the board of trustees firstly if i want to tell you about the board of trustees how they want to function the board of trustees or the governing bo bo body operates the hospital in trust for the community and this the main the governing bodies uh, function if i want to say to protect the assets of the hospital through efficient operation that is the main function of the governing body on the top ladder they they will carry out the operation in a smooth manner all the hospital things has to go in efficient op manner so their main duty is to protect the asset of the hospital the trustees located at the bottom of the the board of trustees are responsible for establishing the hospital's mission and establishing its laws and the strategic policies what they are implementing the trustees select the administrative leaders of the hospital and delegate the hospital's daily operations and budgeting to the appointed executive member with the help of committee members so a trustee will appoint committees and this committee will execute some person who is the chief executive officer this chief executive officer is a main person and he reports to the governing body as well as the board of trustees and provides the leadership he is the leader leader and he manages the overall management of the hospital will be carried by the ceo that is chief executive officer he reports to the governing bo body and provides leadership in implementing the strategic goals and the decisions set by the board the ceo also represents the hospital to the external environment and the community he is the link between many people he is the person who carries all the operations which has been given to him and he is responsible for the hospital growth and hospital the uh, to for perform smooth and efficient under committee we can see there is finance committee the financial aspects of the things will be carried out by the finance committee with the help of accountants chartered accountants may be there and under chartered accountants there are many accountants will be responsible for maintenance of records and audits will be done by accounting teams there is a development and this development will be carried will be under committees where the human resources development will be taking place this human resources development will do all the activities which is for the upliftment of the hospital organization there is one more uh, committee under committee there is public relationship and this public relationship there is a public relationship officer who has to take care and he is like a uh, link between the committee and uh, the hospital he he provides he welcomes the people and he is the person who conducts the camps and all the things he is a relation should uh, ship to the the public he is directly involved in the public activities and he is the person who uh, he is the asset to the hospital nextly we can see the hospital administrator will be directly working under the committee and that to under ceo he is responsible for efficient look up or working of the hospital overall management of the hospital will be carried by the hospital administrator under ceo there are various departments under hospital administration they may be the clinical services in the clinical services there may be a blood bank which is the primary where the blood and other requirements is very important it has responsibility for collecting and processing all blood used in the hospital for transfusions we can see the clinical laboratory is very much required whether it may be the pathology department 
bacteriology department, biochemistry department, hematology department, parasitology department or cellology laboratory will be efficiently working for respective for respective goals. There are dietary services which will be provided by dietitians and nutritionists to provide the optimum diet for specific ailment. The radiology department works throughout the clock and they give the, the radiology uh, will be handled by the MD radiology doctor. There are other research laboratories which will be working in coordination with all laboratories. There are administrative services which will be directly working under the hospital administrator. Credit services, housekeeping services is the primary, the good housekeeping is reflects the image of the hospital. Head of the housekeeping department has good knowledge of quality of soaps, detergents, cleaning agents they use. This is also to the principles of home economic and physical science. Total overall activity of the housekeeping department which includes the cleaning of floor and the wall with the help of detergents and the removal of dirt wipes. Maintaining of the floor of the coloring of doors, the windows and the room. To change all the necessary things whether it may be the curtains, door, uh, the curtain of doors and windows. To prepare a room when the patient leaves the room from the hospital. He has to keep the housekeeping is the department has to maintain all the things, whether it may be the laundry and next thing will come the purchasing and stores. All the things has to be kept into account what all the purchases has been done and how they have to maintain the records. Telephone services should be there around the clock for 24 hours services. The hospital should have the ambulatory services to provide outpatient care, emergency services is must and outpatient services. Nursing services because the nursing is the, the primary uh, uh, responsible for carrying out the treatment plan developed by the physician. Nursing services are a major type because they are the persons, they are the healthcare professions who are involved in the most of the time they are involved in the patients. So nursing services are called the patient care services according to me. It is the largest component of the hospital. They are largest are set to the hospital. Next comes the pharmacy services. The pharmacy services here, the pharmacy services has to operate and he has to take care of all the pharmacy purchases and dispenses all the medications used to treat patients in the hospital. The pharmacist works directly with the medical staff in coordination with the medical staff in establishing a formulary. The listing of drugs chosen to be included in the formulary will be done by the pharmacist. The hospital uh, will be having the record maintenance here. The record maintenance has to maintain the medical records and other sections. It has to be kept and it has to be protected for at all times. It can be stored and for a period of minimum of 5 to 10 years. It protects legal interest of hospital and the patient, record maintenance. It provides data for research and education. It provides communication to other physician. They can check the records and they can con conclude or they want to confirm what happened. It helps in administration and planning of hospital. It helps in treatment of patient in future aspect. Now coming to the hospitals in the 21st century, we can see the hospitals have traveled a long journey from a time when the hospitals were used to be synonym to temples or home where people go to take complete trust and they wait till death. Today hospitals have become high tech organizations. In the past the aim of the hospital was to provide care, comfort and assurance to the patient with a team of dedicated approached doctors, nurses and other staff whose aim was not whose aim was to provide care, patient care, not to earn money or not to do anything of that kind. Their main aim or intention was to provide care to serve the people who are needy, helpless. The doctors were treated as God and patients were treated as guests 
or angel of God. But today is that scenario has been changed. We can see the hospitals have become the commercialization, the money-minded institutions. Due to rapid development and advancement of technology, influence of money in lives of the people, the policy of the government, health insurance, medical tourism, etc. have changed the total scenario of the hospital in a new millennium. The shift from care of the sick and which has been diverted to the, uh, the, um, uh, the profit-making organizations. Now we can see some of the challenges to the hospital which includes changes in the pay structure, high cost, quality services, management by clinicians in bureaucratic way, lack of trained and professional manpower, awareness of clients to rights and obligations, patient satisfaction. These are some of the challenges to the hospital. The summary of the today's hospital and its organization would be the hospital is a medical organization or an institute, the function of which is to provide the health care to all, one and all. The objectives of the hospital is to provide care, cure and prevent preventive service. Hospitals are classified into different types, what we have seen based on ownership, medicine, types of services rendered by the professionals and the duration and number of beds involved. The challenges which are there, we can see is the, the change in pay structure, high cost, lack of trained and professional manpower, which is the challenges for the uh, hospital. That completes and concludes hospital and its organization. Thank you.